Hello, it's Edwina from My Craft Orchard. How are you all? So continuing in my pocket money journaling series and back to school, um, this week I've been to Asda. So just a recap, the teenager, an average teenager gets £7 a week pocket money. So if you take just one of those weeks to spend on nice journaling, um, art and that sort of thing, that's what I'm doing. Now, I've actually taken it up to £10 because the working mums like myself would probably have £10 a month to spend on a bit of journaling, a bit of things for themselves, rather than spend all their money on the kids, which is what I do. I tend to spend a lot, all of my money um, on Harry, particularly at this time of year when he's back to school. So all of these things here you can see um, came to exactly £10. So I thought we'd have a quick look at them, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to have a look at is this book. This is a new notebook, NU. Um, they did them in a lot of colours. So I think there was blue, black, red. But because I'd already got a red one, I thought I'd have green. And I really like green. Green is my favourite colour. It's a spiral bound um and it's british made um the cover is like thick cardboard um not too shiny it feels quite nice um the it actually says on the front cover scan save and share so there's a free app with the new notebooks and they do the new notebooks in um a4 they do them smaller as well this is a, an a5 um and the paper i wouldn't say it's top quality i would say if i wrote on that with your gel pens or even fountain pen it will probably bleed through but as an, a starter notebook or a practice notebook it would be perfect um, the one thing I do like about this is, and I don't know if you can see it, let me just show you. You see this notch here? That is the start of a perforated page because each of these pages is actually perforated. Um, and the notch would help you to start off. Because I don't know about you, if I ever have a perforated page and I try to start it, it actually rips at the top or the bottom. Or you have to fold it over to get a, a clean rip. Um, does it say how many pages are in it? Uh, no, it doesn't. I would say from looking at that, that there'd be at least 100 pages in there, I would have thought. Lined, um, a nice rule, uh, white paper. Again, I wouldn't call it a, a, a decent journal. For a starter journal, it's perfect. More of a, a list or an ideas book. I would go I would say for that because that's the first one now the second one is this one and if you have a look this is actually um, slightly less than a5 it's the same height but it's like an a5 narrow so there's, there's about ooh, I'd say about an inch difference between sizes um, it's a hard back cover with a nice elastic it's got a pocket in the back um, and it just feels really nice the pages are cream which I like I, I like this um, and the paper feels amazing it's definitely thicker than than the green one um, and this actually feels like a, a notebook that I had as my very first um, bullet journal uh, which is an A5 and it, it's very similar but it's a, this one's a narrow um, and the paper is lovely and I like the cream um, it's a nice nice uh, rule it's not too narrow there's a bookmark in it as well there's no stickers there's no pen loop or anything like that um, but as a starter journal or even as a journal this would be perfect um, and I always like to use a red 
book or cover or something for Christmas so this being read is actually on my Christmas planner list I've got a few ideas of what I'm going to do for November and December but this might just be the solution to what I need nice really I'm impressed really do like that it's called a medium free writer um, and it is actually an Asda book doesn't say how many pages I would say again you're probably looking at there's definitely over a hundred pages in there so yeah really really like that so if you've seen some of my other videos I have a fountain pen video I can't resist them um, really really I'm liking the fountain pens and when I saw this now these two books cost the same as this fountain pen or less than the fountain pen so I believe the fountain pen was about £4.50 now in fountain pen terms that's really cheap um, but it looks amazing you, I don't know if you can actually see it's a Helix Oxford fountain pen which is a British brand it says on the bottom that it's plastic free packaging so it's a cardboard package um, and it's got a medium nib and it's refillable um, and it comes with one blue ink cartridge a balanced metal barrel that is comfortable to hold flexible nib, medium nib for excellent writing control refill with helix or standard short ink cartridges space for one cartridge in the barrel okay amazing so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna have a look at this together because as you can see I haven't opened it I've resisted <laughs> opening it I've resisted using it so nice box comes in cardboard let's just slip that out got a good clip on it because I can't get it past the cardboard oh that's it oh that feels nice oh it's heavy but it's not too heavy um, some fountain pens are, are really heavy and some are really light um, the, the Lamy fountain pens are because they're plastic uh, outers are quite um, light but they're and they're, they're nice to hold but that's got that feels quite weighty and it feels really really nice and that's what it's just that's what the nib looks like so it's not too big it has a medium nib and it's a screw barrel bit of a squeak and it's got a, an ink cartridge in it that's good I like the fact it's got blue on the bottom so yeah nice oh sorry about the squeak there must be a metal barrel because of the weight nice I'm gonna really look forward to using that and obviously um, I've then had a pack of ink cartridges and I've been trying to find a box of, of these small ink cartridges um, and I've only ever found them on Amazon but I have to have them right next to and yeah they've all got the, the blue bottom on as well to show that it's blue because sometimes when you're looking at a kit ink cartridge you can't tell whether it's blue or black um, and as you know I, I tend to write in blue but outline in black if if I've got notes or things to, to to write, I tend to write in whatever pen I can get. But in my journals and that, I really prefer blue ink. So in this box, we've got uh, 20 cartridges. Washable and erasable ink. So that's good. I didn't see that when I picked them up. So yeah, I am super impressed with that really looking forward to using that I have to say 
so there we have two notebooks a, a cheapy one for notes ideas scratch paper a starter journal for a couple of pounds um, a better quality again for just a couple of pounds with a hard cover um, which I'm looking forward to using and then obviously a new fountain pen which couldn't resist um, and the inks to go with it all for £10 I haven't gone over this time so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more then subscribe I do have uh, a few more videos for the pocket money series that I'm going to be doing um, and I'd like to make it a, a regular thing um, so I'm buying these things now while the back to school uh, deals and sales and things are on um, but then I'm going to I'm go I want to show you how to use these things so things I bought in in like here today these notebooks I want to show you how I'm using those um, for my planning or how you could use them some ideas that sort of thing okay I will, uh, I will see you soon my craft orchard where skills and ideas can grow bye